When it comes to tvOS 18, we just got a new update and in this video, I'm going to be showing you all the minor updates that it brings and at the same time, this update brings us an inch closer to the official release, meaning that this update is just a few weeks away before it comes to your TVs officially. So. This is tvOS 18 beta 7. Going into the system settings right here, software update, and you can see we have a new update that's available, tvOS 18.0 with the build number 22J5353A. So this is a second consecutive build that ends with an A because the previous tvOS 18 beta 6 that we had had a build number of 22J5346A. So they've incremented it by a few numbers and it retains the A build, meaning that the stability and bug fix continues on with this update just like the previous one. And so I'm just quickly going to update my device and then we'll see what are the new features and changes that this update has to offer. To keep you in the loop right here, you can see some other updates that Apple released alongside this. So we have iOS and iPadOS 18 beta 7. We have Mac OS 15 beta 7, which I did a video on. And we also have tvOS 18 beta 7, of course, this is the video for that. At the same time, visionOS and watchOS 11 beta 7 came out. So most of these updates that you see here, I do cover here on the channel at Halfman Half Tech. So if you wanna stay up to date, then definitely hit that like and subscribe so that you don't miss out. My device has now been updated, going into the system settings and then going to system right here and then software update, check for an update. You can see our device is now current and up to date with the 5.3a update. And right here, one of the things that I have to highlight that was an issue for a lot of users was when a number of users tried to attempt their TVs on this section here, this had totally disappeared and at the same time it wouldn't bring this pop-up screen that allowed users to choose public beta or developer betas but it seemed to be more of a server related issue and after a few hours it did show up and since I'm updating a few hours in advance then that's why I was able to get the update myself but if you had this issue then you can now check for the update and the server issue has been resolved. This is my Apple TV 4K third gen remote and there was an issue before with tvOS 18 beta 6 and the related iOS version where the find remote option was not there and at this present time you can see I updated my iPhone to the latest iOS version and my Apple TV to the latest tvOS version as you see and I'll be happy to let you know that this function has been reverted to its default and now if you want to find your Apple TV 4k remote you can find it like this and this you can see it's telling me it's here if i was to take the remote and put it away and then it will bring the proximity center to tell you that it's far if you want to go a step further like what i've done here on my apple tv remote is that you can buy a case like this it's pretty cheap like nine bucks or ten bucks and it has an air tag spot that you can put in and now next time when the apple tv find my remote feature is faulty or is buggy instead of you having to rely on the application you can always go into the items and find the air tag right here and this way you'll be able to play a sound and at the same time, you don't have to rely on the find application on the Apple TV remote using the iPhone. If you're a person that likes your screensavers on the Apple TV, I'll be happy to let you know that they are gradually adding more screen savers on the Apple TV with tvOS 18 and this is in relation to the latest other updates that Apple released alongside this. So with the Sequoia update that other OS's saw, Apple is adding different screen savers. For example, they are adding more Sequoia National Park screen savers. So you might essentially be able to see different Sequoia Sunrise screen savers. At the same time, if you set your download frequency to a more frequent download, you will also be able to see Sequoia Morning and at other times you'll be able to see Sequoia Night. To be able to see this in the best way possible is to go to your screensaver section right here and go to where it says aerials and if you click there you can choose underwater to hide it, you can choose the cityscape hide it and then you can choose earth hide and just keep the landscape to show and at the same time increase your download frequency to daily. By default I believe on tvOS it's on week 
quickly. So if you set out to daily, then you'll be able to see some of the new screensavers that Apple adds as they go through the different OS updates more frequently. Another thing I should mention is that if you want the actual files of these screensavers that you've seen and you want them like a, in a Dropbox link or in a Google Drive, let me know and I'll be able to extract them from macOS and share them in the description of this video if you'd like to have them beforehand. Actually, continuity camera and handoff on the Apple TV looks pretty crisp. I, li I like this. Even though the podcast application on the Apple TV wasn't it really updated so when you open up it is still looks the same and at the same time this browse section that is in jiggle mode that you can see is moving up and down hasn't been renamed to new unlike another application that i'll show you but something you might want to know is that apple podcasts are now available on the web and this doesn't have to be on the safari web browser it can be on any web browser and any device so you don't need an iphone or a mac and that at the same time you can see how it works here this page will give you all the descriptions and at the same time there's different availability so for different countries and regions this is a publicly available page and if you want to see the supported languages and the countries that are supported then check it out it will be Apple Podcast for creators. And if you search Apple Podcast on the web, you'll be able to see it. When you open up the fitness application on the Apple TV after updating, some users have reported that there is a new splash screen. But as far as I've seen on my device, I haven't seen any new splash screens. But this is something you might want to see in regards to what's new with the new splash screen. An amazing update you might want to know that was introduced with the previous beta and carries on forward with this one as well although it's not yet foreseeable in the OS is that the Apple TV will soon be able to push external web links and the Apple TV will be able to do this by means of the immersive video feature that the Apple TV Plus offers in a series of immersive videos filmed in 180 degrees 3d 8k and right here you can see this is soon to be happening so that's why i can't show you this in more details and just to give you a brief overview of how, of how this is going to work so with tvos 18 there's a new button in the description of immersive videos that allows users to find more details about apple vision pro but rather than opening the web page right on the apple tv the system redirects the link via airdrop to the user's iphones or ipad thereby allowing you to be able to open web links from your apple tv airdrop to your iphone or ipad and you get a quick preview right here when this user found this out just like the previous update when you open up the apple music application right there you can see the top section in this section that is in jiggle mode right there so the section that's moving side to side used to be called browse and unlike the podcast application in the apple music app this has been renamed to new and it carries over simultaneously to the iphone with ios 18 so those are just some of the changes that are here within this update of tvOS 18. We don't have all the new features and changes yet that we were promised that would be coming to tvOS 18 initially at WWDC 2024. So do hit like and subscribe so that when everything comes out i will keep you up to date and at the same time i'm thinking of doing like a full video of all the new features that tvos 18 has brought forward with this update at least the ones that are available so let me know if that's something you want to see in the comment section below and i'll see you in that video peace